What we're going to try to do today is make this escape wheel. This escape wheel for the skeleton clock I'm making is a little unusual that it has pins instead of teeth. So as you can see, there's going to be 60032 pins. It's my first time doing this kind of wheel, so we'll see how it goes out. First thing we're going to do is get a piece of material set up on the Tormac, uh, import the G-code, and then cut the outline in the wheel, and then drill all these holes and try to do it very accurately. And we'll do it line to line with an 032 bit. And we'll see how this works out. So I thought it'll take a little bit of time to walk through what we're gonna do with the G-code. So I've got all the G-code program, and the first thing we'll do is an operation where we'll spot drill the 60 holes. We're gonna go down around 10 thousandths on each one of those. Then we'll come down with a very small drill, a number 67 drill that's 032, and we'll go through and drill all of those 60 holes. And then you can see we'll start on the contours. So what I'll do first is mill out the second. I'm going to use an 032 cutter, pretty fine cutter, so we get fairly sharp corners. And then we'll go cut the part out. And you see here I'm using the tab feature. Now the way I'm going to hold the part, you'll see when it's in there, probably isn't ideal, uh, but I think it'll work. We'll take a chance and see how it works. The other thing that's interesting that you can do is you can go ahead and simulate on Fusion 360 what this is going to look like and how it's going to cut before you ever really touch the material. So you can go there and you can see the operations, make sure you like it. And the other thing, you look at statistics and see that this is going to take us 56 minutes. So we better get to it. We've got our material in the vise. We've got it all uh, zeroed out and we're ready to cut. So we'll start with the spot drill. So the good news is we were able to cut all the holes without breaking a bit. So I'm happy with that. We'll go on to cutting the uh, wheel out with an 032 uh, end mill in place. So after cutting the part, what I was worried about, uh, the way we fixtured it was no good. So as you can see, you know, we're dealing with thin brass here, 062, and there's just too much flex. And as that uh, end mill came down, we got a deflection in the part, and basically we took a lot of time to create a piece of scrap. So we're gonna have to go back at it. We're gonna have to change the way we uh, uh, hold this part and try to do it the right way now and get a good part out of this. Okay, so the setup we're gonna try this time is we've mounted uh, the plate on aluminum block with double-sided uh, uh, 3M tape. It's super strong. The only issue with doing it this way, I've had a lot of success, but it's a hard job to get that plate off the aluminum, but we'll give it a go. So as I expected, uh, using the tape worked out fine. Uh, we've got a good part. It's clean, but you can see the tape is tough to get off. Um, what we're going to need to do now is I'll need to polish this off because once I put the pins in, uh, we won't have a chance to polish one side of it. So we'll get one side of this uh, nice and clean and then work on putting pins. So I'm putting the pins in. The pins I'm making with 032 music wire. Cut these about 250 in length and then we just hammer these in uh, and secure them with Loctite. So we're making some progress, we'll keep going. So what we need to do here as we're sanding this thing down is make sure that we get uh, all the pins the same length. So we got a high side, we mark it, uh, work a bit at it, and we'll get this thing level and then we'll finish it up. So here we have it. Uh, we've got the escape wheel with the 60 pins in place. Uh, we got it just cleaned up, it's not polished. Uh, but I think it uh, came out pretty well, all the pins are level. And we'll make a pinion for this, and we'll get this thing mounted up on the uh, frame of the skeleton clock. Take care, everyone, and please subscribe.